Hey guys, welcome to my Archimage 10.2 guide. This is part two. I'm going to be going over a VOD for the visual learners. Uh, I did just re-record this VOD because I realized I didn't have a cast timeline up here. Uh, and I did like start falling asleep halfway through the poll. So I'm sorry if there's any small mistakes, but I'll point them out if they happen. Anyway, let's get right into it. First, obviously, we're going to evocate into Orb Blast, Double Lust. In a real fight, obviously, you're going to evocate into Arb Arcane Blast Orb. Either way, after one Arcane Blast, that's when you want to apply your Nether Tempest. Obviously on the Sims, it just does the Nether Tempest straight away. But we, here in a real fight, you want to make sure you're in combat first. So it's good to do that extra, you know, one Arcane Blast for the hell of it. But up to you. At this point, you're just going to be pressing your Blasts and then your Missiles as they come, following the core rotation of Missile, Blast, Blast. And then if you run out of Missiles, then you just keep Blasting. And we're going to keep going until about 200 to 225,000 mana. 200,000 is the lower limit here. Uh, for me, that's around 30% mana. So you see here at 30%, I started doing my Radiant Spark. 1, 2, 3, Nether Tempest, Surge, Blast Barrage, Touch. So you can see my sequence over here, just in case you don't notice. Radiant Spark, Blast, 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 Nether Tempest, Surge. I have an Arcane Blast, Gem, Trinket, all together, one macro, Swifty, one shot. I can Barrage, Touch of the Magi. And then Missile, Blast, Blast. And remember, you're always clipping missiles here by just pressing Arcane Blast, right? There's no, like, fancy timing or anything. Just to rewind a little bit. Like, I missile, and as soon as I'm missiling, you can look at my keyboard down here. You can see I'm pressing 1 already, right? I'm not doing anything fancy. Just spam the button. And it will automatically interpret it at the right time. I notice here that now I have my 4-piece proc. So, obviously, my next missile I will not be interrupting because it does a lot of damage. Blast, blast, missile, interrupt, blast, blast, missile, interrupt, blast, blast. It's a proc, so we're not interrupting the next one. I don't get a proc, unfortunately, until now. But yeah, just to rewind a little bit as well and show you the palm usage. Notice here, I'm about to finish this arcane blast. As my arcane blast finishes, my touch of the magi has less than one GCD left. So this is when I'm going to be pressing palm arcane blast. And yeah, it fits in right before I touch of the magi explodes, barely. As soon as Siphon Storm expires, and I know it's expired by now because it's 33 seconds to the fight, for what it's worth, and your big burst on with the special opener, it's just basically right after your surge is done. Um, yeah, you're just shifting power straight away. And now what I'm looking for is when can I start my big burn? I know with my gear right now, it takes about 8 seconds to do my big burn from Radiant Spark to Touch of the Magi. So I'm just waiting until Touch of the Magi is 8 second cooldown, and then I'm going to start. So I'm going to blast, and see, oh, it's ready here, so I'm going to Radiant Spark. One, two, three. Normally this would now be Nether Tempest Surge, but we don't have Surge, right? So we're going to blast a fourth time, and then Nether Tempest, just to delay Nether Tempest. Blast a fourth time, Nether Tempest. Now we do the Arcane Blast Barrage combo, and as you can tell, Touch of the Magi came off perfectly. Chef's Kiss. I have a proc, so I'm just going to Missile, Long Missile, Blast Blast. Short Missile, Blast. Oh, actually, I'm below 30% mana, so I should be doing Long Missile there. I think I noticed it here. Yeah. My Palm isn't quite ready, so I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to sit on it. And now I'm low mana. So people often ask, okay, what do you do when you're low mana? I've seen people do all sorts of things, like barraging at 40% mana and 30% mana. No. Oh, it's very simple. When you're below 10% mana, you start conserving. and Or not conserving, but you start fishing for like things. Before 10% mana, you just keep doing your thing. Keep missile blast blasting. Once you're at 10%, this is where you start doing the provision. So you're going to press Nether Tempest just to apply it. Here I have a proc. I'm going to press Nether Tempest. I'm going to Arcane Blast. If I don't get a proc here from missiles, I'm just going to barrage. Right? Because I don't have anything else to cast. So I barrage. After my barrage, I can orb. Blast Blast. Now if I don't get a proc, I'm either going to Nether Tempest again or Arcane Blast. My Nether Tempest is within Pandemic range. You can see my UI it shows that it's red. That means it's Pandemic range. So I know I can Nether Tempest there, and so I go for another Arcane Blast. Because I know Touch of the Magi is below 20, so I can actually evigate in a second here. I'm going to refresh Touch of the uh, Nether Tempest here. You can do this in practice as well. Part of why I'm doing it is just because the dummy is going to leave combat otherwise. I think it ends up leaving combat anyway, because it's dumb. 
Um, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know why it left combat there. That's very weird. But anyway, we're just going to go back to our normal rotation. So blast, blast, missile. So, okay. Our big burst takes 9 seconds, according to my timers so far. From my gear. Depends. Your gear will be different, so check for yourself. So I could technically start here, right? Wrong. Because Surge is a 7 second cooldown. So if I start now, I will not be able to apply Surge in time. Why does this matter? Or why does this even happen? The reason it happens is because my previous nether, my previous touch of the Magi I used was from my mini burn, where it was basically just used on cooldown. So obviously the moment it's off cooldown, I'm going to press it, right? It's instant cast. However, that means that my surge, I cannot just press when it comes off cooldown. I can't put it on cooldown as soon as it comes off cooldown because it has a cast time. And also, big burn is one second longer. So that means that there's going to be a one second delay on my touch from the fact that big burn is one second longer. And then also a 1.5 second delay on my touch because arcane surge is a 1.5 second cast time. So what this means is that basically here you'll notice my five seconds on surge. That's when I radiant spark. Blast, 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 nether tempest. I maybe could have started to one second earlier at most, but this is now the timing where I'm not being interrupted, right? As you can tell, now the touch of the magi is already up now. So you see how I'm wasting like 1.5 seconds roughly from you know it being off cooldown. This is natural, you cannot avoid this. But yeah, Arcane Blast, miss a barrage touch, and then just the normal rotation again. Don't interrupt your four piece procs, otherwise you short missile as long as you're above 30%. Palm Blast, Blast, Missile, my Siphon Storm is done, right? It's not over here, it's empty, so I can Siphon Shifting Power. And now I'm just waiting again for my Touch of the Magi to be within range for me to start my Bindi Burn, which is around the 8 second timer for my gear. Check out for your gear. Just literally log, do a test, or record yourself and do a test, and just look at the second differences between your Radiant Spark and your Touches. So I'm going to keep going here. I have a proc, so I'm going to use it. Okay, something important. Do not do weird shit with your four piece. Don't save four pieces for your Touch of the Magi or something like that. No matter what number of stacks you enter Touch of the Magi with, in terms of your four piece stacks, you will most likely get a four piece proc in Touch of the Magi anyway. Simultaneously, it is unlikely you're going to get two four piece procs in touch of the magi so there's no reason to ever hold four piece procs for touch of the magi you're supposed to just send them as they come if you need to missile it's the correct time to missile and you have a proc you just send it you don't do weird shit okay now an astute observer will look at the screen and say forgy why the why are you radiant sparking man touch of the magi has nine second cooldown you should be waiting for eight and I will say, you are correct. I just messed up here because I was looking at something else. I was thinking about the script that I was going to be talking about. I was, I was going to say in that moment, yeah. Oh, I should use this four piece and I should remind them. So, and I, and I lost track, yeah. And you can tell here, blast, blast, blast. And you can tell I'm looking around now. I'm like, okay, maybe I need to like move backwards. I think I do it in my Nether Tempest. And then I Arcane Blast Barrage. I tried to squeeze my touch in. Unfortunately, the touch does not land before the barrage, so I missed out on a little bit, but it's okay. Not the end of the world, but definitely not ideal. Remember, stick to your timers. You get a four-piece proc, so I'm going to long channel. Blast. I don't have palm ready, so I'm not going to use it. Missile. Blast, blast. Now, the next thing, the only thing in my mind right now is, okay, I'm below 30%, so I'm going to long channel missiles and also evocate timing. So if... Um, um, and touches below 20 seconds, then I'm going to use Evocate, which is now. I didn't get a bunch of procs, unfortunately. And now, once again, same thing. We're just going to keep going until our Arcane Surge is within 5 second cooldown, and Touch of the Magi is 9 seconds or shorter. I'm going to keep going. So I can start now. Radiant Spark. I probably could have gone on the 6 timer. It's okay. Wasting one second is not going to be the end of the world, probably. Blast Barrage Touch. Missile. Blast Blast. Same rotation, right? I'm going to fast forward here a bit to show you something interesting. Right here, I'm about to finish my mini burn. Actually, no, let me rewind. Then. So, I don't know, that's fine, it's fine. 
So right here, I finished my mini burn, and I have no mana gems. This, and I'm not evicated, yes. This is the ideal time to recraft your mana gem. I was not paying attention. So I didn't end up recrafting my mana gem. And I realized that after I pressed evicate, I saw my mana gem, I was like, oh shit, I don't have any. And you're going to see it happen in any second now. I'm like, oh, I don't have my gem. I'm going to recraft. Yeah. Not the end of the world if this happens to you. It's not like GG or anything, but yeah. Just keep an eye out. And then just doing burst again. I'm going to surge. Arcane Blast Barrage Touch. My Lust is up in a second, so I'm just going to use it. If you want, you can save this Lust, obviously, like, if you're in a real fight. And you're going to get to your next big burst, then save this lust so you can pot as well on your next big burst. Which would just be better. But yeah, you can use it here otherwise, it's completely fine. And yeah, I mean, that's basically it, right? There's nothing super fancy going on. Um, I don't think there's anything I missed out talking about the rotation. So if I did miss anything, please let me know in the comments if you have any questions, anything like that. Um, yeah, otherwise make sure you join the Discord if you're not already there. Very useful bunches of information you can ask me questions i'm very active on there yeah hope this video has been helpful and i'll see you guys in the next one peace